Ladies and gentlemen, as usual, welcome to another cool video. Today, I will be defining what sustainability is when it comes to the construction industry, given that many people tend to not understand the exact meaning of this term. Here in New South Wales, in Australia, as you are aware, before submitting for approval for your building, you have to obtain the BASIX certificate. For those that don't live in Australia or who are not sure of what BASICS is, I will give you a brief explanation. BASICS is a sustainability planning measure for residential buildings, which is concerned with estimating the water and energy consumption and the thermal comfort of your building. Let's now have a look at what sustainability is. The formal definition of sustainability first introduced in the Brundtland Commission is a development that meets future needs without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. Here we are concerned with three major pillars that define what sustainability is. And these are namely social equity, economic development and the environment. It is at the intersection of all of these three pillars that sustainability is achieved. What if I asked you to describe what sustainability covers in the construction industry? In other words, what exactly does it embody in that industry? Well, a lot of people would just assume that sustainability is about conserving trees, which is important, but this definition in itself fails to cover the full dimension of what sustainability in fact encompasses. For example, planning for reducing carbon emissions and energy needs on a construction uh, site through the use of uh, advanced and clean technology to construct houses forms part of sustainability. There is also strategies for reducing waste that help enhance the sustainability of the industry. Waste uh, comes in the form of mostly material wasted on a construction site. That's due to maybe poor planning, poor workmanship or even issues with inventory management. What would thus be ways to reduce such waste? If you had better analytics on the percentage of waste that results from each activity in your construction project, you can link this to each material used via say a BIM model and then use 4D BIM for simulating how the prog how the progress on a construction site is, thus allowing you to plan for methods of reducing waste. You also have water and energy conservation. You can, for instance, conduct a solar analysis in 6D BIM in order to understand where to place your solar panels um, to maximize, uh, let's say, you know, the, the utilization of natural resources. You can also use BIM for uh, climate adaption. Um, so for instance, you can use that through selecting uh, appropriate building design and materials that go in the building that would suit various climates. Uh, and you can do that by relying on um, materials or by relying on designs that would utilize um, passive energy and thus you would save uh, on active energy needs, uh, given that active energy burns a lot of fossil fuels. You can also uh, connect digital models together to see what the impact of your urban building structure is on say the community uh, in terms of climate change and how building orientation, building material choice, and the location of the building can be designed to reduce the urban heat island effect, which is common in many cities of the world nowadays. A great way of planning for sustainability in construction is through viewing the construction project through its full life cycle. What does that mean? Let's have a look at an example. Let's suppose that you have a road as a project and you know that this road requires materials such as bitumen, concrete, steel, soil, etc. as input in order to construct that road. What are the sources of these materials that you will be 
using in the project. How are they uh, extracted? Maybe the raw materials that are involved. How is the extraction process conducted? What machinery is used uh, to extract the raw materials? What about the energy that's expended during the extraction, manufacturing, and transportation process? Um, also, you can look at you know, how the road is constructed and what is it going to be used for? What are the materials that are needed to maintain that road uh, for a certain duration of time? What about energy and, and costs that are uh, expended during all of the phases of the life cycle of this, uh, of this road? What happens at the end of the life cycle of this project? Would you be recycling, say, the bitumen that you used to construct the road? Um, can you even do that? So these are some of the questions that you would, you, that you would be asking yourself when it comes to uh, thinking of projects in terms of their life cycle. Do not think of uh, costs and resources that are spent and utilized just during the construction phase because that's not what life cycle is about. What you have to do is you have to look at it from a holistic perspective. So the construction uh, phase just forms only part of the full life cycle of the project. Instead, what you should look at is you should uh, consider economic, environmental and social related decisions based on all the stages of the life cycle. So starting from raw materials, uh, going through transportation and manufacturing and then construction. And that's precisely what's referred to as the uh, Life Cycle Sustainability Assessment, uh, LCSA for short. Now LCSA is composed of three main methods, one for each sustainability pillar. First you have LCC, which is life, um, which is life cycle costing, and that's associated with sort of the, the full costs that would be expended during the entire life cycle of the project. Then you have life cycle analysis, LCA, which is a method used to evaluate the environmental impact of uh, a product or your project in this case through its uh, life cycle. It encompasses extraction, processing of the raw materials, manufacturing, distribution, use, recycling, and final disposal. Uh, and finally, you have SLCA, which is social life cycle uh, analysis. And this assesses the social uh, aspects of your project, their actual, um, uh, let's say, uh, you know, impacts uh, from a social perspective uh, on uh, the community that the project is in. So all of these together, when combined, they form the life cycle sustainability assessment. You can think of it in terms of an equation. Life cycle sustainability assessment equals LCC, life cycle costing, plus life cycle uh, analysis, plus which is the environmental one, plus social life cycle analysis. Why is sustainability an important consideration for everyone involved in the construction industry? The figures in Construction are very scary, to be honest. All you need to do is just realize that the construction industry is responsible for the largest share in the use of natural resources via land use, material extraction, uh, etc. In addition, construction is responsible for between 25% to 40% of total energy use and about 30% of the greenhouse gas emissions worldwide. Such figures point to the importance of acting now to enhance the sustainability of this sector before the time is too late. So that's it for this uh, video, my friends. I hope you now have a clear understanding of what sustainability means, uh, specifically in terms of uh, the construction industry. Do not forget to like the video. As usual, do check out my other videos on my channel. Peace.